I came to the U.S. when I was just a little girl. My parents were both Ethiopian immigrants. I certainly stand on the shoulders of every African-American journalist that came before me, but growing up, there was an African-American uh, female anchor who every night at 6 p.m., the TV would be tuned to this local news anchor. It was actually the local NBC affiliate, and she had such poise and such grace, and I remember just being a little girl and almost thinking that's what womanhood was like. She was such a positive role model for me, and I just knew the way my mom felt about her, and watching her as a child and just the way she delivered herself, the way she delivered the news, the way she carried herself made me feel like I might want to do that, and I think that I can do that because she has done that. But uh, perhaps more recently, every African-American female journalist who has decided to wear her hair natural and who has made it more acceptable for me to wear my hair natural, you know, just maybe even five years ago, six years ago, this was a conversation my friends and I had in the business and we never thought we'd see the day where we could wear our hair in its curly state on national television. And so for every anchor before me, reporter before me who has forged the way, who has opened that door, it then made it much easier for me to do the same. And now I get emails from fathers and parents saying how much of a role model I am for their little girls. And so it goes even beyond just that. It goes beyond just me. It, it then transcends and perhaps even helps the next generation accept who they are fully. History made, history in the making. CNBC celebrates black history.